Hello, welcome to Camp Orlando Science Department Open House 2021. My name is Roxana Jackman. I'm Science Department Chair and I also teach Living Earth and Human Anatomy and Physiology at Camp Orlando. So um, the current graduation requirements for science at Camp Orlando are just one year of physical science and one year of life science, but most of our students usually end up taking at least four years of science. Our goal as we guide students through Camp Orlando is to provide them with a challenging pathway to success that's also not too overwhelming or time consuming for them. Um, typically, students will all come in and take Living Earth as freshmen, and then Chemistry in the Earth is our sophomore class, and we encourage all juniors to take some form of physics so that they have the trifecta of science classes that a lot of colleges expect and that provides them with a strong foundation for any pathway that they end up taking after high school. We have many science electives for them to choose from, um, several AP choices and some non-AP choices as well, and the science department has created a tri-fold brochure that your students can obtain that gives a little explanation of the different um, electives that we offer at Camp Lindo. If your child has questions or if you have questions, communicate with your child's current science teacher to help them make their decision, communicate with your child's counselor, and communicate with your students to see where their passions lie. Many students take more than one science class at a time. So for example, if a student had a huge passion for human anatomy and physiology. They wanted to be a doctor or they um, wanted to be a physical therapist. Or they wanted to go into sports medicine and they wanted to take human anatomy and physiology concurrent with that. They can start taking that concurrently their sophomore year with their chemistry in the earth course if that's when that science elective fits best into their schedule. So sometimes we do have students taking more than one science course, sometimes even as many as three at a time. The science department worked really hard to create core curriculum in Living Earth, Chemistry in the Earth, and Physics in the Universe that would be accessible for all students. And so we do expect all students to take Living Earth, Chemistry in the Earth. At junior level, some students start to choose to take physics at a more rigorous math level. And so taking the AP route of physics is an option to taking Physics in the Universe starting junior year. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.